Hey guys, I just want to welcome you to this very, very quick video on the 11 inch MacBook Air. Now, when I was looking for the MacBook Air, I wanted to know whether it was going to run Windows, exactly what it could run, what it couldn't run, and I couldn't really find that much useful information. So I just wanted to create this quick video. Um, this is actually the 11.6 gigahertz Intel Core 2, um, Intel Core 2 Duo with 4 gigabytes of RAM and 128 SSD drive. Now, it's a very, very quick machine. I was really surprised. I debated the 13 inch, but I wanted the ultra portability of the 11 inch, so I decided to, uh, to go for the 11 inch and um, I've actually installed Windows via Parallels uh, I've got everything installed on here, the machine is really really speedy just look at the activity monitor um, CPU is doing nothing, I've got nothing running at the moment apart from Camtasia which is recording the screen um, with system memory and we've got loads of memory free disk activity um, there's not a terrific amount going on um, I have just shut some applications here which will be why that's uh, why well, that's like that, I have actually just had Windows running and um, disk usage again I've got uh, 50 gigabytes used um, with all my apps and, and things at the moment so I've actually shut Windows down entirely, I'm going to boot up Windows from scratch so I've just clicked on there you can see how quickly it actually is going to boot up it's really really speedy with the SSD drive I have to admit um, I actually don't run anything on Windows that I can run on my Mac, um, I run keyword research tools and a, and a couple of other things because I can't get the applications, you know, that there isn't such an application that runs on the Mac. This is the only reason I need to run Windows. Um, you can see it's nearly pretty much speed, uh, booted up now. Give that a few more seconds and it should be there. Um, you will generally, I mean, I've got a 2.93 i7 quad core iMac and this thing does not feel slow the things where you notice it, it, it you know it does feel slower than normal is if you're rendering video or audio you know you are going to notice things taking longer but for generally opening up apps doing email and web surfing extremely fast when you get into the more CPU intensive stuff you are going to notice a little bit of a slowdown but it's it's not frustrating I mean I really I was really really surprised I mean it's the what the 1.6 gigahertz, gigahertz processor just doesn't compute in my head but when you use one of these things it really is well as you can see Windows is booted up I'm not going to open up any of these applications here for a minute um, I've, I've actually really got nothing I've got no office or anything installed on it um, but as you can see I mean, if I it a bit smaller as you can see there's no lag or anything on there I'm going to open up a few more applications um, iMovie as you can see the speed these things open it's actually pretty quick I've got no videos on here either though, although I have tried just rendering um, you know for, for sort of five ten minute videos you're gonna be fine if you're gonna run Final Cut and try and you know put a feature film together it's probably not going to be that good although you know I've read in some of the forums there's guys running Final Cut Express and things in it and it's, it's not a problem it isn't a problem for, for small stuff and um, we're gonna run Keynote here pages numbers let's get a few things open Safari and it's almost the situation here memory wise memory's coming down a little bit now we've got 680 megabytes free um, but as I say I've got a fair bit running here including Windows Windows is a huge you know, huge hog on resources but you can see it runs all this stuff pretty smoothly if I go back to Windows I'm actually just going to suspend this which is what I normally do see there you go let's put it in sleep mode so we'll close that all these stuff here you can see uh, you know, it's 
more than happy or we can, we can play that full screen um, but again I'm just going to close all these applications and that's pretty much it I mean as you say you can see it, it will run Windows it's not going to run massive applications on Windows but if you just want to use it for the odd thing that you can't run on your Mac like I do it's more than adequate um, you know, I mean, as you can see, the screen recording software itself is using a bit of CPU. Um, oh, sorry, a bit of memory. It's going to be using the CPU and everything also. So if you take that out of the equation, you know, considering what we've just had running on the machine, I would say for 99% of people, it is more than adequate. Unless you're doing really, really heavy video edit editing on it. As I say, I do quite a lot of screen recording and quite a lot of iMovie. For a 5-10 minute video, absolutely brilliant. Anything more than that, yeah, you might want to be looking at the MacBook Pro or something with a slightly better processor, more powerful. But um, yeah, thoroughly recommend it. Um, I was a bit worried to begin with, but you know, this machine really, really is awesome.